what's up guys you're welcome to emacom tv where we publish news on politics and entertainment um we have another trending news for you today and the headline here read northern governors cries out to the federal government to ban entry of headsmen from other african countries into nigeria all right guys this is coming as a kano state governor Abdullahi Ganduji have just launched a Ruga settlement project for headsmen in Kano State. And he used that opportunity. I'm going to play the video. This is the video. So, this is the video. So just stay put. I'm just doing brief analysis. Then you are going to listen to the video. And then you'll see where Ganduji, you understand me, actually um, attach all the violence in this country to the influx of headsmen from all over african countries so i'm going to play the video and then you come back and then we're going to analyze and discuss more on this topic but for now i want you to listen to gandhi j actually expose and he said that these headsmen come into the country with weapons and gone and they are the one responsible you get he's a fulani man but i think i admire his courage to for saying this but you see a lot of people also say that yes your courage is good for actually speaking the truth but the truth of the matter remains is that these headsmen that were that is in nigeria right now who came from other african countries they were promised a new home in nigeria and that is why you see all of them they are flocking into nigeria i remember what uh, 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 Abdullahi Badejo, you know, Sami the Magban president, as a president of Mietiala Cattle Association, said, he said they own Nigeria and because of that they will rule forever. That's what Badejo, Abdullahi Badejo said. So, certain conspiracy is coming into play recently. Headsmen have been claiming all lands. They've started occupying, I mean, forests. You know, they are setting up their settlement. And who knows what's going to happen next. So I want to listen to this video of Ganduje crying out. I know he's speaking the mouth, the, the mindset of other governors. You get. So he's crying out to the federal government to stop the entry of Fulani headsmen into the country. They are coming into the country. It's very dangerous. They are planning to overrun the indigenous people of, you know, from the ancestral land. So I want to listen to this video and then uh, we'll get back to discussing. Thank you. <laughs> You are most welcome to this our very important occasion. The commissioning of the housing units that are being constructed that is serving as a nucleus of Ruga, the first Ruga settlement in Kano State. There are three basic reasons why we decided to develop Ruga in Kano State. The first reason is because of the problem of insecurity. Insecurity. All right, guys. So you just heard the governor of Kano State actually speaking his mind on the investment crisis in the country. He has just attributed the entire problem and the fault to the influx of these headsmen from all over the country and subsequently he had called on the federal government to ban entry of these headsmen into the country according to him most of them come with guns and weapon so you can see here that now now that 
because of the way they come with guns and weapons into Nigeria, they are terrorizing the entire. In fact, the region most terrorized most is the northern region. That is why you see, because he affect, they are now crying for the federal government to stop influx of this guy that they cannot handle it anymore again. Remember, during the okay during the prelude to the 19 election, you remember what happened that there was influx of these guys into the country. You guys, there was a flock of this Fulani headsmen all over from West Africa to Nigeria. And even recently, you remember what happened last year, 2019? The federal government came up with a visa policy. They call it visa on arrival. You get it was such a shameful policy that everybody decried it. It was needless. It doesn't add economic value to the country. It had no G. In fact, it was totally worthless and useless. But we see our immigration actually award that to um, anybody, Fulani headsman coming in from West African country. And it was because of that Nigerian visa on arrival policy that made the U.S. to put Nigeria on the list. The U.S. had to ban Nigeria from entering into. The, uh, yes, but that was a singular was reason. And you know why the U.S. had to do that is that they were being security conscious. They don't want Nigeria to be a proxy through which terrorists will to enter the U.S. Remember, that month, uh, Donald Trump just hit uh, Soleimani, Iranian top general. He hit him and then eliminated the man. And then from there, Iran now plays a bounty on Trump's head that but who is going to kill Trump will be rewarded with 80 million US dollars. So there are a lot of people who have been looking at how they can cash that bounty. So US had to ban Nigeria after Nigeria actually announced a visa on arrival policy. And so that was it. So now, look at what is happening in the entire north. They call it bandits, ravaging the entire north. But we know. They gave them that name bandits. In reality, they are his men. You heard what Gandhi just said that most of these his men come into the country with guns and weapons. You guys, so that is it. So I remember, according to rumor going around, that Buari promised these people a new home in Nigeria. And you know, Nigeria is very fertile. They are coming into Nigeria because of what they know, they want to gain. They want to take now over Nigeria. They want to seize Nigeria. The construction is going on. You guys, so that is a that is a sure the threatening situation we are being faced we'll right now, and our leaders are doing nothing about it. Look at what happened Ruga in Delta State, where the 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 local government chairman gave ultimatum to help many legally occupied a particular section of the bush. He gave an ultimatum, and they went to court. Now, what they are doing? They are using the court down to give themselves soft landing, to delay time, to buy time. Is what they are doing. And now, you get. And the governors, Oko, Oko have not said anything. The governors are doing nothing because of the fear of EFC. So it was the leave office so that EFC don't go after them. They have been, they, they have been threatened into silence. So we are in a very dangerous situation whereby our future future of our children everything is under a very serious threat right now we are being surrounded if all our forests have been occupied already by this settlement are being created they'll be occupied by this Fulani headsmen already without our even knowing it Somebody did a Google Earth, you know, uh, research, and did, you know, Google Earth did this satellite, uh, uh, there's a program owned by Google. You can use it and get a non satellite images of any part of the country you want to get. Now, once you, 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 you zoom your focus on Nigerian forest, you're going to see that a section of the Nigerian forest have already been locked down and settlements have been built. Over those regions, who is occupying those places? Something is actually we thank wrong. You. We they, thank you these guys much. have a very serious, dangerous mission. Remember what uh, Abdullahi Badejo, the chairman or the president general of Mietiala Katoho Association, said. He said that.
Fulani founded Nigeria and they will rule Nigeria forever. And that they have the right to occupy any land in Nigeria without consent to the indigenous people, without seeking the consent of anybody. So you can see here that it just today that he recanted that statement. But we know that he made that statement just because people have derided him that they don't talk like that. You get, they don't talk like that. They wanted their plan to be kept hidden, secret, so that we wouldn't know. But now it's been it's been revealed. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I want you to um, drop your comment. Let me know what you actually think about this. This is Emacom TV. Please, before you leave, do make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting that red subscribe button right now. God bless you guys and let drop your comment. Let me know what you think. God bless you as you do that. Thank you.